Stocks closed higher on Monday as the Federal Reserve and other leading central banks worked to restore confidence in the banking system. On Sunday, the FDIC announced it sold a huge chunk of signature bank's deposits to New York Community Bank for $2.7 billion. Signature failed and collapsed March 12th, the second bank failure after Silicon Valley Bank over the course of two days. Overseas, Switzerland's largest bank, US UBS, agreed to buy its troubled rival credit, Suisse, for more than $3 billion. For more analysis, I'm joined by Dana Peterson. She is the chief economist at the conference board. Dana, why would the collapse of Credit Suisse have been such a big problem? And was it anything like um, the Silicon Valley Bank, or was this a whole other different kind of bank problem they were facing? I think there were different problems that Credit Suisse had. The, the issue is that Credit Suisse is a really large bank. It's a SIFI, a systemically important financial institution. And hence, if it failed, it would have systemic or it would spread out in terms of its, its contagion in terms of damage to the financial system in Europe and potentially the world. So when people say too big to fail, that's kind of what they mean. In other words, so enormous. And Silicon Valley Bank wouldn't be in that category in terms of just totally just by itself, not with anybody else getting connected to it by itself would have hurt the economy. Well, I think, uh, well, Signature Bank, not so much, but certainly SVB. Yes, that was a huge bank in terms of its assets. It had billions of dollars of assets, many of it uninsured, meaning that the FDIC did not provide insurance if there are any losses. And so the big issue is contagion. Do other banks fail and really collapse the system? Would, um, if Credit Suisse was in such bad shape, what is UBS buying um, and why buy it? Well, <laughs> well, they were convinced by the Swiss National Bank to purchase it. Um, certainly, if they broke up the institution and tried to sell off pieces of it, that would have taken a long time, and it would have had to have been done through a bankruptcy. So really, UBS is getting both the good and the bad, uh, but certainly they're going to receive cash from the Swiss National Bank and also from the government to help them to manage any issues that they may have with these Credit Suisse assets. Probably got it at, at fire sale prices, too. Um, in, in The Federal Reserve is going to be um, uh, making uh, some kind of announcement this week. Um, what's your expectation of what the Federal Reserve will do now that it's got its problem with inflation still, but now this interest rate sensitivity that's been exposed by the uh, Silicon Valley Bank collapse? Well, I think at the end of the day, inflation is still the biggest problem facing Americans. It really does hurt lower income persons, and it just makes everything much more difficult. And certainly you don't want inflation expectations to remain elevated, meaning people expect that prices are going to continue to rise forever. So it's very important that the Fed send a strong message. Inflation is still a problem. We're still battling it. But at the, at the same time, we can ensure that there's financial market stability. Indeed, the Fed is, is offering lending and cash, mm -hmm. and its balance sheet is getting a little bit bigger. It ticked up. Um, but at the same time, we can address inflation by making it more expensive to buy big ticket items and certainly to buy services. You, when you, you wrote in the, in the Washington Post, you mentioned how quickly the Fed has moved in. Banks have, have uh, rushed in with solutions in this moment of bank um, uncertainty. Do you think there are other shoes to drop in um, as we think about the banking system and the challenges it faces? There could be, especially those small and medium-sized institutions that are not subject to the same regulatory scrutiny as the big banks. Uh, certainly the big banks were part of the problem 15 years ago. Now they're actually part of the solution. And so it's key that these smaller entities remain liquid, meaning they have enough cash to manage their operations from day to day. Dana Peterson, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.